Hey guys, so uh, today's episode is uh, about this really cool butterfly I just saw here. And uh, I was just off the porch looking down, having a little lunch with uh, Jasper. And uh, next thing I know, I saw this golden butterfly land over in the grass. And so I'm going to take a walk over here and take a look. Let's see if we can get close to it here. Stay, Jasper. Good boy. Don't want, it. Don't want him to scare it off. Let's see. Look really close. Where'd it go? Okay, there it is right there. Look at that beauty. We'll get a look from the other side here. Not sure if it'll stick around here, so let's see. Oh, there it goes. How about that? Oh, oh man, it came even closer. Now what's the chance of that? Thank you, Lord. Man, that's beautiful. Look at the markings on those wings. It's like black and golden on the backs and underneath. It's white dots and black over that golden color. That's incredible. Usually these don't last very long. Butterflies just alive for, oh, I think just maybe like weeks. I'll have to look this one up, see what this one is. But um, starts off, you know, you'll see just the caterpillar and then it changes over to the butterfly. Then they start the cycle all over again they emerge out of a little chrysalis and we'll look this one up to see um just maybe about a week ago i ended up being able to capture a little footage of the swallowtail uh, butterfly it's a state uh, state butterfly for the state of north carolina and uh, they are not too far from where this one is right now there was two of them kind of going through a mating dance flying round and around from about like 20 feet up all the way down to the ground and uh, so now this is another type that we'll have to look up here and B don't sting me all right go on B <laughs> B was getting ready to sting me in the face all right now come on now there's a lot of places you can be right now, and that's not in my face. All right, so I'm going to see if I can just walk up from behind here. Oh, no, not going to work. What are you going to do? Come over closer this time? Let's see what it's doing. Oh, well, it's landing up in that oak tree. That's a red oak right there. Well, I think we got some pretty good footage there. You get an idea what that butterfly looks like. And uh, we'll look it up and I'll try to give you as much info as I can on it. And. Uh, that's pretty cool. Thanks guys for liking and subscribing and commenting <clears throat> on our channel. We sure appreciate it. You know, I try and share these things that happen um, throughout the day. There's been a lot of 
different animal interaction in the last couple weeks. I mean, it's just been one after the other from the scarlet tanager, that uh, bird that flew up here that we had never seen, uh, you know, for any length of time at all. And it's come right up to the, uh, to the house. Um, we had the swallowtail uh, butterfly. Uh, we've had the cicadas. Um, we've had the baby bluebirds for 2021. They nested um, in the house that we built right off the porch. And we've gone through a series on that. I'm getting ready to work on that upload. And I'm learning about that video uh, editing process. We have a new editor, and so that takes me a little bit of time to get through that. And uh, Then we've got a Carolina wren that is nested in a little tree. That's the beech tree that I've shaped. I just got done doing a video about how we harvested it from the wild and uh, put that beech tree into... Um, in the ground up next to the house and I've been shaping it kind of like what you would see in a Japanese style garden or a Chinese garden that one's probably more Japanese style but uh, anyway it's a shaped tree and uh, just as soon as I got done shaping it with the new growth for uh, in the springtime now this Carolina wren has uh, has gone in there and um, and nested so uh, so that's pretty cool the babies are in there now and uh, I'm, I'm getting some footage of that and then we'll upload a video on that as, uh, as well. So, uh, so that's pretty cool, but it's all happening right around us. We live in the woods in Western North Carolina in the mountains. And so you just never know what you're gonna see, but it's been especially good the last couple weeks. We've been seeing uh, a lot of different things and had some really great opportunities. So, uh, hey, if you like our channel, like and subscribe, share, uh, make a comment. We love to see those. Um, if you wanna support our channel also, um, there's some links down there for photography by Theron Clore. Um, that's a good friend of mine uh, who's done a lot of the uh, photography for the Lufa Ranch here. And then also you'll see um, on Fine Art America, if you look me up too, there's a link on there. And uh, there's some photography and some pen and ink work and uh, all those things. Um, they're manufactured in the United States, they're shipped all over the world. You can pick out um, how you want it reproduced uh, from anything from a large uh, canvas uh, paper. You can have it on a poster uh, paper or uh, you can know, really find uh, fine paper. Put it on the cell phone cover or on canvas uh, bags all kinds of ways you can reproduce those so and that helps support our channel so i'm still needing to get a new camera it's a little bit less shaky and uh, all those things will work towards that so god bless you this is paul from paulentry.com in western north carolina we'll see you